Hello everyone, welcome to another one in Phasmophobia. Um, we're gonna hop in again with only two evidence given into Grafton Farmhouse and you guys can guess the ghost with me if you want to. So I'm trying to not tell what ghost I think it is. I'm not gonna show you so you can guess with me. We've arrived. So Check we are here. And was here. Okay, we have no cursed object. Um, breakers behind the kitchen. We got. Uh, we have to smudge the ghost doing a hunt. We have to escape it, and we need the motion sensor. So I'm gonna set up all my stuff as usual, and I'll be right back. Okay, wait for the thunder. Our stuff is set up. We're gonna hop in. Let's hope that we can survive and let's hope my PC survives as well because I got some stuff in the background. I hope it can handle it. Please don't die on me. Okay, and here comes the light. And okay, it's working, it's working, it's fine. We got a hiding spot right here, which is pretty nice. So let's check for the bone no bone in the kitchen let's check dining area for bony pans no bony pans in here let's get to the living room Also no bony pens here. We're gonna check all the downstairs area first. And of course we're gonna listen if we hear something or look for some stuff being out of place. Hey Teddy. Hiding spot here. important in here nothing of interest so let's close these I don't think ghosty is here neither was that door open before I'm not sure this is a hiding spot I like that hiding spot if you have to hide downstairs so I'm gonna leave the lights on in here and the door open Okay, so ghosty pants may be upstairs. Maybe ghosty pants and bony pants are having a party upstairs together, which would be nice. No hiding spot here. If it's like that, you can't hide here. Oh, it's freezing in here. You are here. Okay, no bony pants party, huh? So ghosty is in this room and in this room. We found ghosty. So we're gonna leave yeah now i heard it can we get that 15 14 uh, 12 11 10 9 8 6 5 4 3 did it work yes it worked 20 seconds for one interaction you get 20 seconds I'm gonna grab the candle to keep my sanity as long as possible. I think I'm gonna use the hiding spot uh, in the utility area because it's a good hiding spot. But I have to check upstairs real quick for bony pants. I hope bony pants is around here. Ah, by the way, we got our first evidence. It's freezing. So I have to turn on a lot of lights. I hope the performance won't suffer that much. The door is open, huh? Oh my god, I blew the breaker. That was my fault. Okay, back to the breaker. Back to the breaker we go. We're leaving this on and this. Fortunately, on my 8 times multiplier, on the ghost can't change rooms which is pretty good so we got enough time we can look for the bone in the meanwhile and um, we can also 
check if the ghost is following us, but I don't think it can be a stalky ghost because we got the freezing. None of the stalky ghosts uh, will give you freezing as evidence. So yeah, let's check this area first. I think it's gonna be in the last room I'm searching anyways. Oh, ghosty, you teleported mannequin up here. You see that? That was ghosty, you teleported the mannequin up here. Usually there's no mannequin in this room. But in the ghost room there was, which means it's like the stuffed animals. There are bony pants we found you. Yes. Ah, this is gonna be fun. We're gonna grab the cam, take the photo, and we can just toss it down. This is gonna be funny. I'm gonna do that. I don't know, sometimes it's uh, funny to do stuff like that, like in Sunny Meadows, uh, tossing down stuff. <laughs> the stairs. I don't know why. It's just playing around. I know, it's a little childish. Look at that. Wait. Whee! <laughs> Oh, sorry guys, sometimes I'm just a little stupid child. There you go, there's the cam. <laughs> it survived. <laughs> so, uh, we can only grab one because I still got the smudge on me, just in case, because we don't know yet what Ghosty Pants is capable of. And yeah, we're gonna turn on the lights in the ghost room. So, let's secure... Oh, it dropped a bottle. Let's secure this area. Wait, what? Is it the entrance? Yeah, the entrance is secured like that. Nice. Okay, at least entrance is secured. We got this hiding spot over there. We're gonna use it, of course. Now we need to get some evidence items. I'm also gonna grab the cam. Um, I'm also gonna grab a second crucifix and an EMF for the crucifix so we can hear it if it's being used. So if Ghosty wants to, it can spawn in the room. Um, it has just teleported a ball somewhere. Nice. <laughs> Ghosty is so active. So let's leave that EMF right here, leave the cam right here. In case Ghosty wants to show up. Where is the ball? I don't know where the ball went, <laughs> but I heard it falling around. <laughs> so let's grab one book, one dotsy, and one cam. Let's get you guys in there. PC, you're still sticking with me? It does. Nice. So, I don't see an all B yet. Let's make that we see both of the doors. Leave them like this. And we leave a second group of these items on the other crucifix. Because I like to place them all together, so first of all I know where they are because uh, the dots provide some light even if the breaker blows or if Ghosty decides to turn off the breaker, we are still able to see where our crucifixes are, where the book was and if Ghosty throws the book we will see it because uh, we're gonna say, wait, where's the book? I placed it there. And then I'll know, ah, okay, test the book. And you can look where the book is. And if you got all evidence, you can check if there was some writing. And if not, if you got all the evidence, you can rule out writing. If it throws the book without writing in it. If there is writing, of course, you can say, oh, it's writing. <laughs> so let's leave you here in case you decide to write in the book. Leave one sensor here. And one sensor here. Oh no, I don't see you like that. Let's leave you here. Oh, there you are. Little ghosty pants. Ghosty pants seems to be a nice ghosty pants. Yet. <laughs> ghosty is being nice. Let's grab some evidence items. And we also have to prepare that hiding spot over there because you never know. Uh, there are still early hunting ghosts on our list, so let's leave you here. It touched this door, but that was a while ago. Okay, so we're gonna leave that near the door, of course. And yeah, I'm gonna hold on to the lighter, just in case. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you old? Are you a child? What do you want? 
Why are you here? Oh, riding. We got riding. Okay, nice. We got the riding. So, let's collect our evidence. And let's see what ghost it could be. So, here we are in safety. We got riding and freezing temps. So you guys can decide which ghost it could be. Um, I could already rule out some ghosts. After a hunt we can be sure. And yeah. So you can pause, think about it, huh, which ghost could it be. <laughs> and yeah, I'm gonna continue my investigation here. Do I have, I got two smudges now. Hey Pippi. <laughs> So I think I'm also gonna turn on this light because I want to hide here and when the lights go out I know when the hunt is over. So let's set up that hiding spot. Let's leave you the other way around. Oh, Ghosty is over there now. Now it's coming over here. And yeah, step into my salt. Give me some salt feet. But don't be salty. Okay, one more left it's still walking around ah you stepped into this okay okay we got this and we got this oh it's throwing stuff now are you are you throwing stuff or are you knocking was it knock knock i heard something but maybe it was just footsteps okay we're gonna check our sanity real quick just in case and we're gonna check for our objectives and uh, yeah, I can leave you here it should cover a part of the room if I leave you here <laughs> nice little spot oh candle so alone okay we'll check sanity real quick okay so this is our sanity you can see it right here I won't take any pills because we need some objectives that are hunt related. You can also see the activity here and the noises the ghost is doing. And this is the cam. If you want to get some information from that, you can have a look at it. And yeah, we're gonna hop back in. I think I'm gonna grab some candles just for fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see, there's the activity. So let's get in some candles. What? Um, what? <laughs> you did a ghost event here? Wait. What? <laughs> um, okay. That's scary. Yeah, see. Did the ghost event right as soon as I en was entering? What? Ghosty, you're insane. What's going on? <laughs> it didn't hit me because I was outside. Please go back to your room. I hope you are back in your room now. Ghosty. Please be nice. What's going on in here? What are you doing? Where are you? I know where you are, I see it. Show yourself, are you here? Can you give us a sign, are you here? Can you show yourself? So we also got this one. So let's go in so we know, ah, okay, all these are done. Can you give us a sign? Can you show yourself? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? <coughs> Can you give us a sign? Are you here? Okay, now I'm doubting my decision of what ghost it could be a little bit. Can you give us a sign? Can you do something? Where are you? Are you here? Can you do something? 
Okay, let's just have a look at the behavior of the ghost. So you can also <coughs> make a picture of it, what ghost it could be. Show yourself, give us a sign. Are you here? Look, it's over there. Show yourself. Are you here? So I'm right here at the crucifix and it covers this area. So if Ghosty wants to spawn around this area, I can leave. <laughs> Are you here? Can you give me a sign? Let's just move this just a little bit further. So I can actually escape. <laughs> ah, it's now in that tiny room. Are you here? Can you give me a sign? I just want some more interaction for this bad ghosty. Okay, let's step out of the room. Let's see what's going on now. Can you give me a sign? Can you do something? Are you here? Give us a sign. Are you here? Hmm, okay. Ah, interesting. Two more pictures. So we only need one picture. We got in. Oh, now it's first interaction and then the writing. Okay. They changed the priority of that. Usually it was first priority writing, second priority interaction when it was still going. You are not there. You are in here. Don't try to fool me. Show yourself. Are you here? Can you give us a sign? Now it's. Are you scared of me, my little ghosty? Don't be scared. Come on, get back over here. Come on. Don't be scared. Show yourself. Give us a sign. Are you here? Give us a sign. Where are you? <laughs> oh, I love it. Can you give us a sign? Can you show yourself? Show yourself. Where are you? Are you here? Can you show yourself? Okay, I'm gonna hold on to the camera in case Ghosty decides to show up again like it did before. Uh, are you doing it again? No? Okay. So let's have a quick check for our sanity because the sanity can tell you a lot about the ghost. Yeah, look at the activity. Look at the sanity. We are in hunting range for any ghost. So any ghost can hunt now. This is our list. Just have a look at it. And we're gonna continue. Did you turn on the light in there? That's the back room. <laughs> it turned on a light. Nice. I'm gonna enter with the cam even though if the performance has some issues now because in case it shows up I can take that picture immediately show yourself are you here show yourself give us a sign are you here can you do something so we are in hunting range remember we are right now in hunting range for any ghost any ghost can hunt now So we are prepared. Hmm. Interesting. Can you give us a sign? Can you show yourself? Didn't use one of these. The other crucifixes. Show yourself. Where are you? Give us a sign. Show yourself. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the lights in here. Maybe you won't see so much now, but <coughs> we need some activity because when the lights are off, all the ghosts are a little bit more active. And uh, yeah, except for the mare. Oh, it threw something. That's my last picture. Come on, get it. Where did you, was it that? Here, this. Oh, thank you for that. We don't need a ghost picture, so it's okay. It's not one of the objectives, right? 
No. Escape during a hunt. So yeah. You see? Crucifix, crucifix. Not used yet. Didn't even nip at them. So we're gonna drain our sanity now. Ghosty, can you give us a sign? Ah, that's the phone over there. This phone there. Leave my lighter alone, would you? I need this. <laughs> can you give us a sign? If you want. Is it hunting? No. Oh my god, you broke the light. I don't need it anyways. I don't care. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Looks kind of strange. Don't you dare spawning on top of me, my friend. Don't you dare. So this was another ghost event. I thought it was hunting. I wasn't sure. So, but as you can see, crucifixes are still both intact. We got EMF next to them, which means we're gonna hear it if they get used because the books they they are already written in. So, yeah. Now I'm becoming a little bit nervous. Because Ghosty can hunt any time now. If it wants to. Ghosty, can you give us a sign? Are you here? Show yourself. Can you do something? Show us. Show us. Do something. Close a door. Give us a sign. Attack. Hunt us. Come on. Ghosty, let's go. <laughs> oh my god, it spawned on top of me, you little piece of shit. It wandered to that room and spawned there. I hate it when they're doing that. Yeah, but you may know which ghost we're dealing with, right? <laughs> oh, look at me. <laughs> Oh my god, that piece of shit, it started hunting from there. And as you can see, it here. was a shade because um, I thought it was spawning in the room and that's why it sounded like it's coming from the left. I didn't expect it to spawn there. A shade can leave the ghost room and uh, it can try to hunt from another location. That's how a shade works. If I would have stand in the ghost room, it wouldn't been able to hunt. But I don't understand why it wandered to this room, because the ghost room was not occupied. I was in that hallway before it. But yeah, that was a shade. A shade can only hunt at 35% uh, sanity. What were the objective? Uh, the evidence like that. So I knew it was not a Moroi, because a Moroi always have spirit box because of the curse. You will always get spirit box, if, even if you're only on one or on two evidence. So Moroi always gives spirit box, also the Yokai, and I think Yokai as well, but I'm not sure about the Yokai, with the spirit box being enforced. Um, the Revenant and the Demon, so the Revenant would have hunted with 50% sanity already, and you see I was standing there in the darkness waiting for my sanity to drain and stuff like that, and the ghost just didn't hunt. So Revenant was also ruled out. Demon was also ruled out because the demon is an early hunter. Sometimes demons behave like a shade. Sometimes they just don't do anything. They are all shy and stuff like that. And then they start chain hunting you. But I ruled out demon because a demon, the crucifix range for a demon is uh, doubled. It's larger. So uh, the crucifix would have prevented it from hunting no matter where, even if it has spawned where it spawned right now. The crucifix would have prevented it from hunting over there. Also, a shade can do like EMF free interactions when you are in the room with it. If it wanders out of the room, it can do an EMF free interaction. It can also touch a door while you're in the room, but if you're in the room with the ghost, it can't throw stuff. Like writing in the book is an EMF 2 interaction. It can do it even if you are in the room with it, like it did in the beginning. 
That's why I was standing out of the ghost room and just watching for it to do some stuff. And you have seen it through something, did something, and yeah. So this is how you can figure out the shade. The demon you can figure out with the sanity, of course, it's an early hunter. You can also figure out the demon if you smudge it during the hunt. And you, if it hunts after 60 seconds, again, that means, okay, it's a demon for sure. Because uh, for the demon, the smudge timer is only 60 seconds. The revenant we would have heard during the hunt. It's slow as fuck. And if we would have screamed at it, like, get over here. It would have been fast as heck. So this is how you figure out the ghost combo. I died here. I know I'm bad, but yeah, it happens sometimes. She spawned on top of me and I thought she was spawning in the room uh, between these two beds and not in my room. I don't know why she came over here, but yeah, that was it. I hope that one helps you to figure out the ghost with only two evidence. And yeah, I hope you like that one. See you in the next one. Goodbye.